good to see you. What's the best thing and the worst thing about being in lockdown? The best thing is kind of like you get to do all the things you never got to do before. Like, you know, when you're at a million miles an hour with your life, with work and things like that. Like, you get to get creative, you can read, you can keep in contact with friends. I found my old bike from when I was younger and um, it's kind of like destroyed, it's rusty and everything. So I uh, I ordered some spray online and I've sprayed it. I pulled the whole bike apart and I have literally put it all back together and painted the whole thing. What colour did you go for? Pink, of course. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. So what's the worst thing then? Because you've got creative, you've got a bike. I think the worst thing is probably not being able to like see your friends and family. Like obviously my nan lives in a different village, but I can drop her shopping and things when she needs it. But obviously you can't like sit in the front room and like see them and stuff. And like for older people and stuff, I think it's, it must be really hard for them because they're just literally stuck inside all day and it's just horrible to see in there. Have you, so. you seen them through the window or anything? Yeah, yeah, I dropped the shopping on the front door and then I'll sit over the fence. I'll bring like a deck chair and sit outside my car and just speak to them. So it's not too bad, but it's just like, it must be horrible for like all families and stuff that are in different places. Like if you had family members up in London, you live down here, it must be so difficult. Well, what is it that you're missing the most apart from your family and having that interaction? Probably traveling. Cause you know, I love being away all the time surfing and stuff. So that's probably the one thing I'm missing because I had so many amazing things lined up and then obviously this all happened. So you definitely take things for granted when you don't get to go and do all these amazing things. You're missing living out of the bag. I never thought you'd say that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what about some bad habits? What have you kind of started doing that you are a bit annoyed at yourself for? Oh, it's got to be snacking, hasn't it? I think that's everyone's worst thing. You just can't help yourself because you're sitting in the front room and the most exciting thing of the day is finding whatever is in the fridge. Because my sister, she cooks a lot and she's always baking now and it's just, it's dangerous. What's your kind of go-to snack that you need to have in the fridge for lockdown? I love chocolate orange Lindors. They are my favourite. That's a bit niche. <laughs> <laughs> so apart from the chocolate, any other bad habits you've developed? Are you getting up in the morning and are you getting out of your PJs? Yeah, because I don't really like lounging around. I, I feel guilty for sitting down watching films and stuff. Like I don't actually understand yet how people have been so bored that they're sitting watching films. I just haven't managed it yet, nor any of my family either. We've had so many jobs to do, so I'll get up and put gym wear on because even if I don't do a workout, I feel a bit better than wearing pyjamas or like saggy mug clothes. So I kind of just been getting up, cleaning wardrobes out, cleaning shelves out. That's my new hobby, literally shelf emptying. Are you doing that tap to tidy thing? Yeah, <laughs> I should do that. That's really satisfying when I see people do that. So you've got some new skills then. You've painted bikes, you've cleaned your cupboards, you're eating chocolate. What are the skills you want to learn by the end of all this? I'd like to be able to just to do some more painting and stuff. Painting and drawing and just getting creative with stuff because I think just before I went on Love Island, I was training a lot when I knew that I was going on and um, to kind of keep my mind not thinking differently I would do a lot of painting and art so I would think oh my god maybe maybe I'm not going maybe I am going so I think to get my mind off it I'll clear out a cupboard or I'll do some painting and that's what I'm doing again now it's very relaxing. <laughs> well you see this picture of the day then every single day on your Instagram. Oh I've been saving them for months back so what I do is literally I get loads of photos save them and this is like a great time because I've got loads saved in the bank I don't Perfect. even have to do photos when I'm at home. You could be the new presenter of Art Attack. Let's pitch this. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. I'd be coming up with all sorts. My newest one is I quite like to, you can collect, um, if you go for like a dog walk on the beach or something, you can collect sea glass and you can glue all the sea glass together and make a candle holder. So you put the candle in and it will glow through the sea glass. That's my next one. That is so surf chick. I absolutely <laughs> love it. I do actually find it very hard to get motivated. Like I do love going to the gym and things like that, but I've always had someone like shout at me to do it. And I always find it hard to actually do it myself. So this has actually been more of a struggle for me to actually get motivated. I'll either go for a run, I've been for the odd run, but I've been doing, you know, Gabby Allen, 
Yeah. Her, I think it was last year or the year before she was on Love Island. I've actually been doing her live workout on her Instagram every day. And I find watching my friend do that and she's really motivated to shout at you. I feel like I'm much better about doing exercise and stuff. So she's been keeping me motivated every single day. Love Island sticking together. I love that. That moves me swiftly on to, if you could share your lockdown experience with any other Islander from any series, who are you gonna pick? It's gotta be Gabby because she'll be making me work out every second of the day and I'd have the best body ever by the end of it. So definitely her. <laughs> You're not gonna pick a boy to flirt with? <sighs> I mean, <laughs> Not really. I would prefer Gabby because I'd rather come out of lockdown like shredded like her than coming out of lockdown eating snacks, chilling with a boy. Definitely not. <laughs> that is very, very wise. And what about if you could share your lockdown with anyone in the world? Like you've got one person to pick, famous or not famous or any person on the planet. Oh, that's a great one. I would probably say, sorry to Miley Cyrus, but I would probably have Cody Simpson in my house because he is just an angel. <laughs> you and Kat, uh, you are, that's a good match. That is a very good <laughs> match. He's a surfer boy, you're a surfer girl. Although he has shaved his locks off. He's done that thing that everyone yeah. else has done. I think, think it's all for charity when the boys are doing it, but I think actually Miley si like shaved it off for him. So I was like a bit jealous, but you know. <laughs> I know, and to be honest with you, I mean, everyone is doing this whole, um, shaving heads they're doing this whole um you know lockdown new hair regime like beckham's done it do you like a shaved head i don't really mind to be honest oh, but you do know i like a lot of hair i love my hair on boys so i mean if i did have a boyfriend and they shaved it off if it was for charity i would say yeah that's great but if it's for just for fun no let it grow have a little ponytail yeah because like while i've been in lockdown obviously all the girls i don't know how all these girls are doing it struggling with hair extensions i've taken all mine out and these are just clipping hair so literally it's going to hopefully let our hair get better and grow